Emma Watson, everybody. Hello. So this is the story of Beauty and the Beast. When his vision cleared, the old beggar was gone. In her place was the most beautiful woman the prince had ever seen. She was floating above him, emitting a dazzling golden light, not unlike the sun's. Instantly, the prince knew exactly what she was, for he had read about such things. She was an enchantress, a woman of magic who had put him to the test, and he had failed. Falling to his knees, the prince held up his hands. Please, he said, now, to the, now the one to beg, I'm sorry, enchantress. You are welcome in my castle for as long as you like. The enchantress shook her head. She had seen enough to know that it was a hollow apology. The prince had no kindness or love in his heart. Magic coursed through her and then washed over the prince. The transformation began instantly. The prince's body was racked with pain. His back arched and he groaned as his body began to grow. His jewelry popped off, his clothes ripped. The surrounding guests screamed at the sight of their host and fled. The prince reached up, trying to grasp at a nearby man's hand, but to his horror, he discovered his own hand resembled that of a monster. The man jumped away and made his escape, along with the others. Amid it all, the enchantress calmly watched her punishment take effect. Soon the ballroom was empty, save for the staff, the entertainers, and a lone dog that belonged to the diva. As they looked on in shock, the prince's transformation became complete. Where once there had, a t there had towered a handsome man, now cowered a hideous beast. But he was not the only one to have transformed. The rest of the castle and its inhabitants no longer looked the same. They too had changed. The days bled into years, and the prince and his servants were forgotten by the world, until finally the enchanted castle stood isolated and locked in perpetual winter. The enchantress erased all memory of the castle and those who were in it, even from the minds of the people who loved them. But there did remain one last bit of hope. The rose she had offered the prince was truly an enchanted rose. Yes, it was an enchanted rose. If the castle could learn, sorry, if, um, sorry. If the prince could learn to love another and earn that person's love in return, by the time the last petal fell, the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast forever. Thank you so much. <laughs>